Hi, and welcome back to Ember Screencasts. Today we'll be covering the Ember Modal Dialog add-on. I'm covering this add-on for three reasons. First, and most important to anyone watching in the future, is because it's an awesome add-on that lets you easily implement a common feature. Second, is because that feature works well with the action sequence that we've been doing, and we can make it replace the alert boxes. Third, because it's delaying a tactic that lets me have an extra week to properly figure out closure actions, because those are a big change. I want to make sure I get it right for you guys. So currently, when we're wanting to send a message to the user, we use an alert box, but that's ugly. We want something better. That's where the Ember Modal Dialog add-on comes in. It allows us to easily create beautiful modals. Let's get started. First, we'll install the Ember Modal Dialog add-on. Then, we'll install the Ember CLI SAS add-on, since it relies on it. Then, we'll copy these two lines. We'll change our app.css to app.scss, so we're using SAS now. And then, we'll paste these two lines in there, so we're importing the styles from the add-on. Then, in our Actions template, we'll put in a modal dialog box. So when we restart the server and reload the page, we get this modal dialog box. Now you'll notice that this modal is missing some of the features that you might normally expect from a modal. For example, graying out the rest of the screen, and being able to close it. So let's add those in. If we go to the README for the add-on, we see that there are some configurable properties, one of which is translucent overlay. So we'll set that to true. Now it grays out the rest of the screen, like we would expect. We would also expect a modal dialog to be a little bit larger. So what we'll do is we'll find the class there, Ember Modal Dialog, and then we'll increase the size through CSS. There, we have a nice, larger Ember Modal Dialog. Now we use the Ember Modal Dialog CSS and here we have the model overlays and the Ember modal overlay. If you want to add different classes, you can use overlay class and overlay class names, and container class and container class names. And you can use those to add different class names to different modals if you're using multiple modals and want to style them differently. So now our modal is looking nice, but we can't close it and we want to be able to do that. So we'll do that by putting an action on the close property. So we'll have the close property and we'll attach this to the close modal dialog action. As we'll see in this week's pro video, this is how we attach actions to components. So to make our close action mean something, we'll first wrap this modal dialog in an if statement. So it only shows up if the is showing modal boolean is true. In the controller, we'll temporarily set the is showing modal default to true, and then we'll create the close modal dialog action. In this action, we will set the is showing modal property to false. And we'll see that when we click outside, it closes that modal dialog. So now we'll need a way to open up that modal dialog box. We'll start by putting the default of is showing dialog as false, so that we'll start from where we want to be normally. And then we'll create an action called show modal dialog. This action will take a parameter, and then that parameter will be set to the modal message property. And then we'll set the is showing modal to true. Now that modal message property, we'll be having that in the middle of the modal dialog, and that's going to replace the thank you for using hats. And how we'll use this is by taking the places where we're showing an alert, and we'll replace that with show modal dialog. So then when we try to trigger that, it will show our modal dialog instead of an alert. So this is great. We have our modal dialog, it's showing when you click something, and it's disappearing when you click away. But our other things are still alerts, and the way we have this set up, it'll be difficult to make them not alerts because those alerts are called in the route. So what we need to do is take all this and move it up the action bubbling chain. We could move it to the route, 
However, let's keep on bubbling up until we get to the application route. So we've taken out these two actions from the controller. Then we'll take this from the template and paste it into the application template. But unfortunately, it doesn't work quite right out of the box like that. The reason is because we're setting the modal message and is showing modal on the router. What we need to do is set them on the controller. So we'll grab the controller for application and then we'll set it on there. With that done, we'll see that it's working like we expect. It should be noted that controller for is a private property, so it might change. However, I don't know a better way to do this at the moment. So with these actions set on the application route, and the modal dialog set on our application template, we can go back to our actions route here, and we can start changing these over. And with those changed, then we'll be seeing that for all of these actions, we're using the modal dialog instead of the alert. This is much better. If you want to learn more about Ember modal dialog, you can go to the README on GitHub. It contains lots of information, including some live demos. It includes several of the configurable properties, and it also shows how to position it if you want it to not be on the center of your screen. It also shows you how to change the styles more than we did, and do keyboard shortcuts, and create custom modals. So if you want to have a type of modal that shows up in several places, but not all places, custom modals will be your thing. So I hope you'll be able to find a modal dialog useful. And we should be soon getting back to our regular scheduled screencasts on actions and components.